You see that? You see how the laptop's not closing? That's not good. <laughs> it's not really ideal that it's doing that. Hello everyone and welcome to Tuesday. Actually, I noticed this um, earlier this year. Uh, this was my work computer for near to hair four years and I basically never turned the thing off. Um, it was always plugged up to power and I was always working on it in a desktop environment. But earlier this year, there was a, a time where I had to, um, I don't remember exactly what it was. I had to unplug it and take it downstairs or something like that. And when I did, I noticed that, you know, it wouldn't close. And my first thought was fear because I was like, oh crap, the battery's expanding. Is that dangerous? You know, should I be worried that the, the thing could explode or something like that? I called Apple and, um, you know, they said, well, that's a little concerning. Let's look at the battery information. So I pulled up the battery information and based on the, the cycles and everything, they're like, that battery should be fine. Um, so, you know, just let it cool down um, because I'd had it on for forever. They're like, let it cool down. You know, we suspect that once the battery had a chance to cool down, it'll probably no longer be expanded and then it'll, it'll close. Well, at the time, I couldn't test that because I had work to do, and I've repeatedly had work to do until I finally got the iMac, um, you know, a month or two ago. So now that I have a computer, a new computer to, to work on, um, I've still been moving files from this, but I haven't done that in a few days, which means for the first time in years, the thing has been off for a few days. And as you can see, that did not fix the problem. So that's great. It seems as if, perhaps, the battery inside is uh, bloating, inflating, getting larger. This wouldn't actually be the first time I had this happen to me um, on a laptop. Um, actually, back in college, I had one of the uh, er plastic MacBook. It was a white plastic MacBook, and uh, I had it for a few years, and um, at, at some point I noticed that the, the battery was you know, expanding. So I called Apple and I told them what was going on. And the next day I had a replacement battery, which was wild because I remember distinctly making that call at like five or 6 PM. And I was, uh, I was still in Savannah and they mailed me a battery and I had it in less than 24 hours, which was crazy. But at the time, uh, I was, I was still under Apple care. It was still under warranty. Um, when I called earlier this year, this computer was no longer under warranty by just a little bit. Now, um, you know, there's certainly there's there's certainly times in the past uh, where Apple has, even when something's out of warranty, depending on the situation, they will still service it for free. Um, I don't know if that's going to be the case here or not. The bad news is that this has happened because that's not great. The good news is I don't need the laptop right this second because I'm not going anywhere, the pandemic. Um, but the other good news is that, you know, finally I have a computer to work on that I, if I needed to, I could send this in. So um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be looking into that more. I haven't gotten all the files off of it. Um, I've, I've migrated most things, and then I kind of got lazy after I got the stuff that I really needed, and I didn't finish everything, um, which, you know, that's bad, but it also explains why it's been off for a few days, so I'm glad that at least it gave me this new information. Yeah. Computers are awful. I think that's a phrase that everyone can agree with. Doesn't matter what kind of computer you're using. Something goes wrong with the computer in some way, and you're just like, oh, this is great. Hardware, software, it doesn't matter. All computers are, are terrible. But we have to use them. I'll keep you updated on the situation. It's probably going to be a little bit before I reach out to them and, and deal with this. Because, again, I still get stuff to get off of it. And I have I have other things to do. Um, and there's no rush. Because, again, I don't need the laptop right now. But it's something I'll look into uh, in the near future. And I haven't tried to, like, push this all the way down. And I hope the reason for that is obvious. I'm worried that it'll actually damage the screen at this point. Because I know the screen is, you know, on the top. So... With just lowering it normally, that is where it sits, and that is uh, not quite right. So I'll deal with that in the future. That's it. <laughs> Wanted to tell you that the lid doesn't close, and now you know. Thank you so much for watching, 
And as always, let's meet back tomorrow, shall we?